Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people, we pray, who cry out to you in their need. We ask that you strengthen their hope in your everlasting goodness. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like to uh, pay my respects to the traditional owners of the land on which we stand, the Wadawurrung people, and to their elders past and present. It is out of respect also that we are all gathered here tonight to acknowledge the devastation that has recently been inflicted upon the good people of Victoria, who have fallen victim to the worst bushfires that this state has ever seen. Everyone in this gathering, everyone in this city, and everyone in this state has been touched in some way by the tragic events that have led to the deaths of almost 200 of our fellow Victorians. We offer our most sincere condolences to those who have lost loved ones. Geelong townships and rural centres have been devastated by past bushfire events. Most will remember the de destruction of the Ash Wednesday bushfires in 1983. It is unimaginable to think that the horror of Ash Wednesday as bad as it was, has been surpassed by the deaths and destruction caused by the recent fires. Just as back then, I have been truly amazed by the compassion and generosity of our community in response to these most difficult times. It is wonderful to see the kindness being displayed through donations and willingness to volunteer to aid those in their hour of need. The milk of human kindness is overflowing and that symbolises all that is great about our community and indeed humanity. When our strength, compassion, energy and expertise is most needed, we can all pull together to help. And that is what we have done as a community in Geelong. We should all be very proud of that effort and continue to provide what assistance we can to, most, to the most unfortunate communities in Victoria. Of course, as community leaders, we must uh, do all that is in our power to assist these Victorians as best as we can. And that's why the, both the Prime Minister and the Premier have given commitments to assist these communities whose lives have been tragically affected. From a local perspective, Kylie Fisher, the councillor for the Kariah Ward, bore close witness to a miracle that saved her mother from this all-engulfing disaster. Kylie's mother, like uh, those who have been fortunate enough to narrowly avoid death, was simply spared by this ferocious fire. There was no warning, no time, no second chance to avoid the speed and intensity of the massive fire. As she stood in the shed, struggling to see through the smoke, she was indeed very fortunate the flames did not consume her. Others, as we continue to hear, have not been so lucky. When you hear of local people who are part of the growing list of casualties, it strikes a chord in your heart that brings the magnitude of the situation to you through the six degrees of separation rule. Even more so if that person was a friend or a co-worker or a part of your family. I'm sure communities all across Victoria and Australia have lost someone close to them. And like Geelong, Australians are gathering to pray for those who we have lost and give assistance to those who have lost. The constant flow of goodwill and charity that continues as we speak has been heartening. Let us continue to give all we can to those who needs are greatest in this uh, darkest hour. Last but not least, I do want to mention the real life superheroes of our time, and that's the emergency services workers and volunteers. There is so much that can be said about these wonderful people, but due to time constraints, all I want to say is God bless every single one of you and thank you. Lisa Neville unfortunately couldn't be here but she's sent a message that she wanted me to relay to you here today. I had hoped to be with you tonight to join you for this special service but unfortunately it was not possible. As you know we as a state are confronting the most devastating natural disaster in Australia's history. Over 180 of our fellow Victorians have died and more than 800 homes lost in this tragic event. This week, I have been visiting the relief centres throughout the bushfire affected areas. 
I have met with families and in individuals whose lives have been tragically affected and talking to relief workers and volunteers who are doing a wonderful job supporting those affected. Across the state, Victorians have rallied to support those affected, donating money, time, clothing, food, batteries, water and generators. Victoria has united in its commitment to assisting Victorian families facing the challenges of rebuilding their lives and their communities. The Geelong community is playing a vital role in supporting those affected. We have, lo we have lost friends and family. No one has been left untouched and I want to thank all those in the community who have provided support to those affected. Whilst visiting relief centres, I have spoken with many Geelong people who have volunteered to provide services. It is important to remember the fires are still burning. Victorian families and communities are still at risk. When the families are gone, the work will continue. We will move into a recovery and rebuilding phase, a long and difficult journey. Your thoughts and your prayers are an important part of our community's ongoing support to all those that have lost so much. I know that people across the Geelong region will continue to make a valuable contribution to Victoria's relief and rebuilding efforts. Thank you. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom need I fear? The Lord is the fortress of my life. Of whom should I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour, to devour my flesh, they, my opponents, my enemies, are the ones who stumble and fall. Though an army pitched up, pitched camp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war were waged against me, my trust would still be firm. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to enjoy the sweetness of the Lord and to consult him in his temple. For he shelters me under his awning in times of trouble. He hides me deep in his tent, sets me high on a rock. And now my head is held high over the enemies who surround me. In his tent I will offer exultant sacrifice. Lord, the suffering of last weekend's bushfires is widespread. We ask you to look kindly on all those who suffer from these tragic events. Especially, we pray for those who have been seriously injured and whose scars, physical and psychological, may remain for a long time. We pray for all those who have lost their homes, businesses, income and property of all kinds. Help them to rebuild their lives with courage and faith and help us to do our utmost to assist them. We ask this through Christ's name.